Firstly, I'll make it clear that I can't stick Alex Salmond for several reasons. The key one is his obsession with Scottishness, independence, etc. As though he truly understands the meaning of the word independent. Back in the 1970s and 80s, before the SNP, which stands for Scottish National Party, that's just one letter difference between the BNP, relations between the English and Scottish were good. Yes, there would have been pockets of people that disliked each other, but in general, the English have always liked the Scottish, well, certainly in my lifetime. But people like Salmond and other members of the SNP do their best to drive a wedge between the English and the Scottish. The moral fibre of the man was proved when he thought up the idea of seeking crowdfunding money for his legal defence, and then to actually have the nerve to go ahead and apply for it. I found his crowdfunding video and pitch particularly sickening. Yes, I'm not aware that he broke any law in applying for crowdfunding, but for me, and many others, it sums up the man. The image shown is taken from a Sky News article published on the 30th of August 2018, and is titled, Alex Salmond accused of dragging Scotland into gutter as crowdfunding bid passes target. I couldn't have said it better myself. On the 24th of January 2019, we learnt that Salmond was arrested and charged with 14, yes that is 14, incidents of sexual assault, two of which were attempted rape. Naturally he stated he is innocent, but we'll see and time will tell. I wonder if such media attention will realise even more charges. When questioned about the multiple uh, 14 allegations, he stated that he is, I quote, innocent of any criminality, unquote. What a strange way to phrase it. People typically say that they are innocent of all charges, but he didn't say that. I'll say it again. He stated that he is, I'll quote, innocent of all criminality. Just think about that. I took note of the following text in the Sunday Times article, which states, Crown Office officials issued a contempt warning to social media users speculating about Mr. Salmon's case, warning that those who fell foul of court rules could face two years imprisonment. So much for free speech in the United Kingdom. I noticed that Salmon also stated, quote, I have the utmost trust in Scottish courts to deliver justice, unquote. He didn't say English courts or United Kingdom courts, but specifically the Scottish courts. For me, again this sums up the man. We are sitting and watching Scottish, not English or United Kingdom, justice unfold.